first fans. How is it going? What's up, Devin? It's going good. Good to see you. How are you doing? Hanging in there. (laughs) I was pretty happy. Had some good news about the Denver Broncos trading away Von Miller to the Rams. You also had some bad news. (sighs) What's our bad news? Calvin Ridley. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Sorry for reminding you. That's horrible news. (laughs) But this video is not about that. This video is about Derek Henry, his injury. No bueno. No bueno. So what are we going to do? Who are we going to pick up? Before we get to that, get to this. Hello. If you think about how great Travis Kelsey is, you will most definitely want to be one of only 1,000 first fans to receive this beautiful collector card for free. They are individually numbered and all you have to do is like this video, comment on this video, and subscribe to the Fantasy Football First channel. It's all in the description below. Now go enjoy the rest of the show. (laughs) Okay, so Derek Henry, what are we gonna do? Well, there's two guys on my list. There's Jeremy McNichols and Adrian Peterson, who they just picked up today right or yesterday depending on you know when you watch this video yeah or six months from now you never know guys (laughs) (laughs) if you're watching this six months from now you are awesome (laughs) (laughs) thank you (laughs) leave a like (laughs) so let's start with uh derrick henry actually okay so he was just placed on ir he got a foot injury and it looks like it's going to be season ending yeah season ending he might be back for the playoffs nfl playoffs not fantasy football right right so, yeah, it's not really looking very good for Derrick Henry. And we were actually talking about this a couple times um, over, I would say, the past month. Yeah. Derrick Henry's been getting a lot of carries. A lot, a lot of wear of and carries, tear. It's yeah. going to catch up to him. And unfortunately, it did sooner than I yeah. hoped. But, I mean, we don't know if this injury was a cause of a lot of carries or just a freak. We don't know enough about it yet or even fully how it happened. So That is true, yeah. Uh, I mean, we're not going to speculate and say it's all wear and tear, but we are going to say he is injured, and now what? Yeah. So let's let's go to Jeremy McNichols real quick. All okay. right. So he's been getting some receiving stats every game, actually. Yeah. And one of the games, he actually exploded with receiving stats. He's been doing better in receiving than Derrick Henry, actually. Yeah. So as far as receiving back, he has a lot of success under his belt. But rushing, it seems to be all Derrick Henry. Mm-hmm. This guy only has seven carries for 38 yards. Not, not bad. Much. I mean, not bad stats for seven carries. That's, but yeah, yeah it's only not a big seven enough sample carries. to really know what he can do. Exactly. So I think that's probably why they have Adrian Peterson come up. So getting to Adrian Peterson, honestly, he's probably the oldest running back that I would probably consider picking up right now. <laughs> By far. I'm still <laughs> surprised they picked him up. I mean, there's there's got to be better options, which is, to me, even still possibility they could trade for somebody. Okay. I mean, Marlon Mack is still available. Yeah, Marlon Mack. I mean, yeah. there's some other guys. Uh, even Baltimore, Tyson Williams, who hasn't played much for Baltimore. That is true, yeah. He could be, or one of their other older... I mean, I, I just think they need to stay younger rather than getting older. I mean, Adrian Peterson was... Okay, last year, and okay the year before, and okay the year before that. That's where I disagree with you. Look at his stats on Washington. He was actually very, very good. Yeah, he was not very, very. He was good. If I mean, did, about four yards a carry. That's 3.84. It's it was okay. over four yards a carry. But if he didn't actually split carries, he would have actually easily gone over. Maybe. He's an old dude. Could he handle that kind of load? You know how many 100-yard games <laughs> the guy had? I, uh, what one? <laughs> <laughs> it's like five. Really? Yeah, he did really good on Washington. If he wasn't splitting carries, he would have easily had like seven or eight. He's really good. Uh, but Detroit, he did take a step back. Now I'm not saying Adrian Peterson is you know back where he was in Minnesota. Yeah, he's definitely taken a step down. I mean, he's like 36. He That's yeah, he's definitely old. Like I'm not defending the guy as far as him being great or anything. Right. But he he's not bad like if he if they give him 20 carries and he goes over 100 yards i'm not going to be shocked but i would be a little because yeah. he is very old and he hasn't played at all this year he hasn't yeah. been conditioned at all this year do we really think he can just step in and start getting 20 carries a game 
I mean, no, no, I, I don't. I, I actually have him averaging about 15 carries a game. Yeah. I, I think that's about right. Probably 12 to 15. Yeah. And he'll probably split with McNichols and he, he might get four or five or somebody else on the team. I, I think they have McNichols a few other running backs. We'll probably average about 10 carries a game. Well, I think it'll be a timeshare. But I think Adrian Peterson will dominate the ground game with by a little bit. I think it'll be a 60 40 split. Adrian Peterson's favor. And I think Mick Nichols will get the receiving game. Mm-hmm. Uh, almost, you know, 80-20 split. I- I'd like to see them pick up Melvin Gordon. Pick up Melvin... Oh, like trade for him? Trade for him. Okay. I don't think it costs them much. And <laughs> Denver's selling their players off, potentially. He's a Denver fan, so... Yes, I- I'd love to see I'd love to see them get yeah. uh, another draft pick for him. I mean, he's not the future of our team. He's on the last year of his contract. And right. I just think it would be a good fit for them and... We can concentrate on, you know, what we have in Denver and yeah. can move forward. And I think it makes some fantasy owners happy, too, because now you'll have a full Melvin Gordon and, even better, a full... Adrian Peterson? No, for Denver. Oh, oh, Javante Williams. I, I oh, gave okay, him two okay. opportunities. That's what you meant. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I thought you meant full as in healthy. No, I, I, and that would probably eliminate okay. Adrian Peterson okay. from... Too much. I think he would oh, probably yeah. just be an extra or an injury. Give you a backup. Back, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. He might get four or five That'd carries a game. Yeah. They only have one day left for the trade. Yeah. Run, I mean, so. if, if stuff's going to happen, I mean, everybody waits till the end usually to get stuff done. I don't think Tennessee's going to trade for anybody. If they were going to trade for anybody, I don't think they would have picked up Adrian Peterson. They they picked up Adrian Peterson like that. Well, yeah, because they need somebody. Right. Right. I, I, I mean, you want to be safe. You just pick somebody up and. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. I don't think they will. Okay. What do you guys think? You think they'll pick somebody up? You think they'll stick with Peterson? You think they'll go with McNichols? Somebody else on their team? What is up? I I just don't know. And I mean, we're here to try to give you guys some information of, of where to go. And I mean, if I'm picking one person up, I'm probably picking up McNichols, yeah. especially in PPR. If he's picking someone up, yeah, I would say McNichols. McNichols. I think McNichols is going to get uh, the majority of the receiving game. He's still going to get more yardage, yards per carry than Adrian Peterson. Even if he's going to get less carries, he's yeah. still going to get more yards. If you're in standard leagues, maybe uh, Adrian Peterson because he'll probably get the goal line work. I can Even with Adrian Peterson getting the goal line work, I can see, still see McNichols getting more touchdowns. Mm, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, what I, do you guys think? Put yeah. the comments down below. You can put that towards getting your free Travis Kelsey collector card. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Yeah. Wish we had some more for you. I would like some more because I'd like to, uh, you know, go and pick up a, a stud running back. <laughs> but I just don't think there's going to be a stud running back. But it's funny. This year, Derrick Henry was really the only player running back that was above and beyond everybody else. There's like Derrick Henry, then you take a step down, and then you've got another group of about 10 or 12 running backs that are very similar yeah. so far this year. And then you got to step down from there another bunch. So, uh, you know, nobody has a really stud running back this year. Yeah, mm-hmm. we've got the number one running backs, but it's not like they're stud running backs so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So people are going to have to pick up somebody probably. Yep, yeah. Anyway, we appreciate you guys watching this one. I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening, day, morning, whatever it is for you guys. And uh, close us out. Always remember to finish finish first. Thank you for listening to the FantasyFootballFirst.com podcast. Jackson throws a clean Crabtree has it for a touchdown. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. Get more fantasy info and check us out at FantasyFootballFirst.com.